This is Zaha Hadid Architects' first large-scale project in the UK, a school situated in the ward with the highest crime rate in Western Europe. These students are not used to having care lavished on them, let alone money, and they are hugely appreciative that that has happened. They are also impressed that one of the world's top architects has been working for them. The architects received a complex brief, four schools under a single academy umbrella, with the need to express both independence and unity. This is a large school on a small site, occupying just 1.4 hectares, whereas the average secondary school takes up 8 hectares. Curiously, for a school whose speciality is sport, the original site seemingly lacked any opportunity for significant outdoor sport, but the architects have responded with guile and intelligence, providing a multi-use astroturf pitch which can be used for football or simultaneously by games requiring smaller playing areas. In one corner of the site, they have even found room for a wildflower garden. The project is distinguished by its planning, not its formal expression. Its saltire plan, solving multiple demands of site and usage in a manner that seems effortless. There are two entrances to the street, one on either side of the site. It is cut in half by a bright red 100 metre sprint track, with the school building diagonally bridging the track. Entrances to the buildings are at the halfway point. The school is planned in the shape of a Z. Entrances and terraces are woven into the wings so that pupils are dispersed throughout the site between lessons. Internally, the academy is a good quality and functional modern school with occasional moments of architectural drama which serve as reminders that this is architecture and not just building, though not in any way at the expense of utility or value. At the outset, the architects decided against having an atrium that has become the trope of the design of so many academies. Instead of wasting money and space in this way, they decided to spend it wisely and better on well-lit classrooms and wider corridors. Also on the big rooms on two floors at the heart of the plan, which can be divided by acoustic screens into dining, teaching, assembly, drama and indoor sports areas. This is a design that makes kids run to get into school in the morning. What free school is going to do that?